Laura was at one point at the training center in Big Sandy, Texas, working on graphic design for the ALERT program. This was a great opportunity for her to learn more about a skill that she enjoyed. But now she is using the opportunity she had there to push forward a false narrative about the program. So this military, it's, it's such it's such a laughable place. It still exists. You can still go through this program to this day. Um, they send boys. It's just like basic training. They try to make it like basic training for the army. Um, they have barracks where they stay. They have uniforms. Um, it's in Big Sandy, Texas, which is actually close to me. So sometimes I'm like, okay. Hmm. What if it's what's going on there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what that is. They they talk about it as if it were a, like a search and rescue type of training. Definitely mm -hmm. not. It's way more paramilitary. They learn guns and proper okay. care of guns and all this stuff, which like search, search and rescues, probably not gonna do that. When Laura says it was not a search and rescue group and it was a paramilitary and they trained in the use of guns, she is telling a bold faced lie and she is pushing the false narrative forward the shiny happy people tried to push when they falsely described the organization as a militia and a paramilitary group and suggested that they wanted to take over the world. Again, for those who don't know, ALERT stands for Air Land Emergency Resource Team, and they only train young men to help in disasters and emergencies. They have no guns or weapons of any kind, and Laura knows that. This kind of thing Laura does over and over again, and it is why I do not believe she is deceived or mistaken at all about the stories she tells that are complete lies and purposeful misrepresentations. She worked at the Alert Academy campus and had to know that this was not true. A man who was in the Alert program in the past even lamented the fact that they had no guns because the cadets wanted to use some kind of weapons for drill performances, but were not allowed to. There was a, there's a video in the, the uh, shiny happy people um, of about like seven guys on a stage mm -hmm. um, marching. And that was the precision drill team that, that uh, started while I was there. Um, and I was in that, that group seven. Um, and we, we tried, we were like, Hey, our arms aren't doing anything. Can we have something? The military has guns. Can we have swords like sabers and look cool? And they're just like, no. You can have absolutely. Bibles. Bi That's yeah, Bibles. Sword. Flags, you know, like uh, <laughs> anything, you know. Um, whips, uh, bull whips. That'd be cool, right? Yeah. That would be cool, but potentially problematic, depending exactly. on how a bunch of white dudes with bull whips might this be is true. Yeah. a little disconcerting. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Again, Laura has to know what she is saying about the program is absolutely false. But as I have been showing you, she and many others who are spinning narratives in the public about IBLP, Gothard, and the Duggar family are openly and knowingly lying and misrepresenting the facts in order to damage the reputation of these three entities and in turn the reputation of Christians and homeschoolers generally. Next time, Laura tells more lies about the rules at training centers. With the girls, I mentioned um, some girls that I sort of related to being influencers in the cult right. because they were allowed to do things that we weren't allowed to do and they were speakers they would speak at conferences to us mm. as girls they were allowed to wear makeup they were allowed to do their hair we'll look into that claim next time thank you for watching and please remember to like share and subscribe